All right, so you're a broke guy or gal, and you want to make money with drop shipping, but you've been having trouble. You've been going through all of the drop shipping videos on YouTube from advanced to beginner, from guru to crackhead, and you still haven't made any money with drop shipping. Well, I'm going to show you how to build a custom GPT. Yes, that's right. You're going to create a custom GPT that will have you making money with drop shipping completely hands off if you do this the right way. So you're going to follow this. You want to feed as much information into your custom GPT as you possibly can about drop shipping. So we're going to come over here to YouTube and then we're going to use some custom actions to make sure it's hands off. OK, so we're going to type in make money with drop shipping or maybe let's first get the tutorials. OK, drop shipping. And what we want to do with these tutorials tutorial for a beginner 2003 what we want to do with these tutorials is we're going to get do we have any long pause all right so boom we're going to take the link we're going to come over to this site this site is called youtubetranscript.com going to paste that in and it's going to give us the transcript of this entire video oh my god why is it in a different dang on language what is this no, 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 no. We can't do this. Why is this in a different language? Okay, let's refresh. Is he talking in a different language? Let's get a different one and let's see if it does that too. I'm going to take this link, pause, paste it in here, and see what happens. Okay, well, we'll take that one. I don't know why that dude's video was in a... Uh, a different language but now what we're going to do is we're going to bring it over here to our document drop shipping from beginner to advanced knowledge for gpt gpt all right so we're going to feed as much knowledge into this custom gpt as we possibly can so before we move on what do you need to do over here on this side in order to build a custom gpt you need to have a gpt plus or gpt4 and then you want to go to explore all right and then it's going to bring you right here as you can see i already have some and we're going to create a custom gpt by clicking on that now before we move on if you're new to this channel go ahead and do a G Kundo style uh, uh, Jet Li sidekick to the subscription button so that we can uh, continue making this mission possible for you guys. And I'm going to continue uploading more of these custom GPT videos to make you money. All right. So configure right here. This tab will show you where everything that you're going to be programming when you answer the questions of the custom GPT builder. Uh, all of it is going to come back here. But then you're going to manually upload in this section right here everything that we put on this page about drop shipping. Okay, so now let's go back to create. We're gonna tell it uh, we want to create a custom GPT that uh, does drop shipping uh, to make money hands off from beginner to advanced level. All right, so while that's happening, we're gonna come back over here. We're gonna get some more knowledge to plug in. We got this guy right here, Jordan Welch. Copy this. We're gonna put it in here. So remember guys, you just, oh damn. You just copy everything I'm doing right now. I don't have any patents on these GPTs or, or none of that right now. Eventually I'm going to go back through and I'm going to add some more custom actions to differentiate differentiate it from everybody else's gpts and uh then you can charge for it subscriptions and all of that extra stuff like that that's what separates you the the actions that your gpts are going to be able to do so don't just like sell this blank one that we're going to be building today you want to like go ahead and be creative and start like putting some custom actions into them and I'm going to show you about that a little bit later. Okay, so as you can see, I'm getting as much knowledge pause as I possibly can from these videos and putting them on here. 
We're going to make this as in-depth as possible. So now let's see what we have over here. What questions is it asking? It says, all right, let's shape this GPT to specialize in drop shipping. It will guide users from beginner to advanced levels, offering insights on product selection, supplier relations, e-commerce platform management, and marketing strategies for a successful hands-off drop shipping business. So this is perfect, guys. So it just literally went through all of the parts of drop shipping, all of the elements uh, from product selection all the way to platform management and marketing strategies. So they're what they're doing now is they're asking you what type of name you want for it. Uh, drop ship guru. Mm, uh, I'm going to say drop ship. Miyagi is the name. Because I already got one with the Miyagi name in there, code Miyagi and stuff, or code, uh, teaching code and everything. So we're going to do the exact same thing with this. I think all of mine are going to be named Miyagi or some sort of sensei or something like that if it's teaching people to do things. So while it's doing that, what it's going to do next is uh, configure like a logo or an image or something. So we want to get some more of this and bring it over here. So this one is 55 minutes long. It's a full guide of drop shipping uh through shopify so as you guys can see our uh gpt our custom gpt will be extremely knowledgeable it'll have a, a wealth of knowledge come on man come on man all right we might have to click on this one i'm going to mute it boom then we're going to click on share and we're going to get the custom uh, URL real quick. Copy that, copy that, cop, cop, copy that. Yes, Lord. Then we're going to come back over here, and it should give us using this one. Dang, okay. Well, I guess his video don't want to be shared. That sucks. Okay, so this is the image that it gave us. All right. You can tell it to give us another one. Try again. Okay, if you don't like this one, then you can just tell it to try again. And now, since ChatGPT is connected with Dolly, it can literally create images for you. So um, I'm happy for a lot of these advances, guys. I hope you guys are paying attention, man. I hope you guys are paying attention and, and you are following along and building out yours right now because you can charge a subscription for all of the dang on dropshippers that are out here that are going from beginner and even some of these advanced people that have issues and problems of uh, uh, getting sales and stuff. So you're going to be able to help people get sales with drop shipping. All right. And teach them how to automate their drop shipping business and make it hands off. That's what this drop shipping guru custom GPT is going to be about. Okay. So we got that one. Let's see. Now let's come over here. See what we have. Hmm. No. Oh, actually, yeah, that's a ship. <laughs> and it got products on it because I was like, what is this talking about? OK, it's a cargo ship, you know, that has, you know, yeah, I, I like it. OK, so we'll do that. Yeah, I like that one. Let's. Let's continue now. Boom. So it's going to take us to the next part of building out this custom GPT. Now, one thing you need to realize when you're doing anything in ChatGPT is the prompts, how you talk to ChatGPT. When you're doing SEO, when you're writing articles, when you're doing any of that stuff, what matters is the prompts and how you talk to it. Stop talking to it like it's a robot. Talk to it like it's a friend. Talk to it like you're making an order at a restaurant and you don't want them to F it up. Be as detailed, as relatable, as human as possible. All right. Talk to it like it's a human. OK, so it says, great. Now let's focus on dropship Miyagi. Should uh, um, should it emphasize or avoid his responses? For example, should it avoid giving specific financial advice or legal guidance? Focusing on instead on general strategies and best practices. Of course, it should mainly focus on uh, uh, strategies and practices when it comes to anything legal make sure it 
references something else or another source that can give legal advice. Okay, boom, there we go. All right, so now we're still filling up our situation. We want to get as many of these guys as we possibly can because a lot of people have different strategies and methods and everything, right? Okay, so if we can gather all of the methods and strategies, that means it will have a knowledge base like like bigger than a dictionary and a th the sources are freaking, like you understand what I'm saying by now, right? So we want it to be the go-to. Like we don't want anybody to... Uh, ask a question from our custom GPT about drop shipping, and in the uh, in the GPT, tell them, oh, I don't know. You know, I haven't heard of that. I haven't been trained on that yet. You understand? It needs as much knowledge as can be, be fed into it. All right. So now, um, it's saying now let's talk about how it should interact with users. Should it maintain a formal tone, or be more casual and friendly? Also, how should it handle situations where it needs more information from the user to give a tailored response? Should it ask for clarification or make assumptions? Never make assumptions. Always ask them to elaborate or rephrase the question slash request. Also, uh, it should have a friendly and casual tone. Boom. Okay, so while that's doing that, going to the next step, we are getting this. We want to get, let's see, where you go? Bop, this one right here. This one is three hours long. It's a complete Shopify tutorial for beginners. This is crazy. So it's going to have all of this, all the recommendations, all of the knowledge, all of that stuff. Guys. That's why you want to take some time and feed your custom GPTs as much as you can. Even when I'm not doing this video, I'm going to come back in and I'm going to feed the GPT more and more and more information. I'm going to go to Google and get the news as well. So don't just get YouTube videos, get the news, like go to Google and get the news about apps and about policies and all of that. So it can like know everything, everything, everything. Yeah. Okay. So soon this document is going to be like, <laughs> damn, dude, you got all of this. Okay. So, okay. We are all the way down here on the 103rd page. Sometimes it'll start like freezing up when you're doing this because it got so much that the file is going to be large, right? So there we go. And we'll come back over here and see what's happening. All right, it says, finally, how would you like Dropship Miyagi uh, to personalize this interaction? Should it remember previous interactions within the same session? to build on past advice or treat each interaction independently. Also, are there specific phrases or a style of speaking you like it to use uh, to make its personality more distinctive? Okay, so always ask them, would they like to pick up where they last left off or start from the beginning. Make that very simple, boom. So there we go with that. And then this next phase, we're gonna go into the configure section over here. <clears throat> but give me a second, give it a section, uh, a second. It says, it is now set up and ready to assist users with their drop shipping journey to a friendly and ma a casual manner, focusing on strategies and best practices. It will ask users if they like to continue from where they left off, you can try to use it first. Now, last thing I want to tell it is when explaining something or emphasizing, emphasizing something, always 
uh, create an image using Dolly that will illustrate your point or at least uh, uh, reference a popular <clears throat> um, a popular event in time as a metaphor or something. Okay, so we want it to be as descriptive as possible when it's teaching something. We want it to be relatable. We want people to like actually like be able to like think of real life scenarios and all of that extra stuff. Okay, so it says <clears throat> Dropship Miyagi is now enhanced to use visuals and historical metaphors for clearer explanations. It is ready to assist users with more interactive and engaging approach. Feel free to try it out, blah, blah, blah. No, not yet. We're going to go to the configure section. So as you can see, now it's filled up everything that you wanted to put it in. Um, and then you can like change out these questions. Here they are over here. These are the little prompts that will automatically uh, display when a person wants to use the tool or whatever. And like I said, if I were you and you were trying to monetize this or whatever, what I would do is I would charge a, a, a subscription, a small, tiny subscription. Why? Because then you can upsell them other products and stuff that they can't build. All right. Maybe they don't feel like building this. So you can charge like a five dollar a month subscription for you uh, for them to use Miyagi. But this is literally just so that you can feed them to your other drop shipping affiliate products or services that you can upsell them to. Maybe you have coaching for drop shipping or something like that. So you use this tool, this custom GPT as a, 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 like a credibility and authority builder. Like, yo, we got our own tool that's going to assist you in your drop shipping journey so that you're not just uh, um, depending on what we know or what you know, you will have AI assistance that will come with faster answers and implementation for you. And we'll teach you how to make this completely hands off. So now, as you can see down here, we have Dolly check make sure you want to have Dolly image generation check code interpreter, all of that check. So this is where we will simply upload all of this knowledge that we're collecting over here. So we're going to get a, one more real quick. And like I said, you'll come back through here on your own a little bit later. Um, there's a lot of people just telling their stories and all of that extra stuff. So we don't want to deal with the people just telling their, their stories. We want to get this one right here. And then we want to get one of the advancements. advancements. So it's only so much uh, you can teach them about starting. So we want to go and get some advanced tactics next. Okay, so we got that right there. And now from this point on, you're just literally feeding to the uh, the custom GPT all the information, advanced, intermediate, uh, uh, freaking, you know, any topic you can think of on that. Like go and get the go and get the videos where it's talking about running Facebook ads, TikTok ads for drop sh uh, shipping, uh, drop shipping on Instagram, all of that, all of that stuff. You want to feed it all of that, so that is the know all of everything that has to do with drop shipping. So as you guys can see, we got like how many pages is this? Okay, it's a hundred and nine pages. And this is just a teaser because I'm going to add more. But for the sake of this video's time length, I want to show you the next steps of everything we have to do. OK, so now I downloaded that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on upload files. And then I'm simply going to type in drop shipping. Should be in here now. Yes, Lord, we got it. We got it. We got it. Boom. And as you can see right here, what it is doing is it is uh you know uploading all that information and then after that what i do like i said is i'll go and i'll make another one of these and i'll get all of the other areas of drop shipping like the marketing the policies the different type of strategies you know what's legal what's not legal that we can actually tell them and and all of that stuff. And then I will come back over here and I will upload that. There's no limit to how much uh, data you can plug in here from what I can see. 
Um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to make sure only people with this link can see it. If you make it public, then it'll like be free for everybody on their up and coming GPT store to use. And you can do that if you want to. Uh, or if you want to monetize it right now, I will make it to where only people with the link can see it. That way I can create this subscription thing that I was telling you guys about. Then confirm. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, let's do this. Let's do this. All right, so now it is ready. As you can see, we got the logo and all of that. And if you ever wanted to share it, you would click right there. And you would click on copy the link. So when a person pays uh, the $5 a month on PayPal or whatever, you'll just take this link right here and plug that into the PayPal or the Stripe or wherever they're going to be delivering from. And uh, boom, it'll be an automatic business every time you create one of these custom GPTs. Just do it low enough to where it's, it's not a problem and make sure you have other services that are higher ticket and recurring on the back end. Use this as bait. If I were you, I would probably give it away for free. Like here, here's a free trial or something. And then when they get in using it, does they instantly begin start getting offers of the other stuff that can help them, but, they, but it also has a price attached to it. So let's test it out real quick. We want to see how the images and stuff work. Let's see. Um, uh, using images, explain how drop shipping works the best way you can okay let's see if it works guys now what i have noticed is that these custom gpts they move kind of slow but it's all right it's all right i'm pretty sure the system will speed up eventually uh eventually <laughs> it will speed up eventually but as you can see what it's doing is it's using dolly to create imagery to show us how dropshipping works. Okay, so it created an infographic. Oh, snap. <laughs> Holy smack. So <laughs> this is nice. So if you wanted to even create some like content, some type of like, you know, uh, article or something, you know what I'm saying? It can create the content for that. And as you can see, it got an infographic that you'll be able to paste into your site. So it has uh, uh, the customer order, all right, that's number one. Then they got uh, what is this? Like, I, they, they gotta work on this a little bit better. <laughs> I can't even see the steps, but I guess this is where I don't I don't know what this is, but it'll get better. It'll get better. But it says number one, the custom place customer places the order on your site. Number two, the order is automatically forwarded to your supplier, and number three. Uh, the supplier then ships the product directly to the customer. That's literally how it goes. So we got one, the customer order, then two. Then we have uh, the supplier situation right here forwarded. And then we have three, it is shipped to the customer. Why do they spell customer with CUDA me or whatever the heck that is? But anyway, you can tell them, here, try it again. See, they still working out the bugs, but it still did what we told it to do, guys. Like, this is good. So like I said, if you don't like something, you simply just tell it to try again. And when you're creating the content, if I were you guys, I would be creating content um, about drop shipping. you understand? And give them the manual way of doing it and then tell them here's the automated way using this tool right here that comes with this subscription right here below. Boom. Oh, this one is 10 times better. It's still doing it in different languages and stuff. Y'all notice this? Like the language is, uh, is not English on some of this stuff. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that. But yeah, so that's literally how it goes. If you haven't done a, a, a Tony Jai Muay Thai high knee kick, flying knee kick to the subscription button yet, go ahead and do that right now and go to the next video and see what else you can build with this GPT. And we'll talk about the custom actions in the next one.